demonstrated on the cross when we all remained in sin. Jesus died on the cross because of the love that he had for you and me. And the second one is the resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. Where God's plan for the eternal purpose was revealed to all of us. And one faith. Secondly, freedom. Third is forgiveness. Fourth is the fellowship. And he celebrates God for these four important dimensions. This is what the Lord has done in my life. Number one, the faith in Christ. Secondly, the freedom. The third one is the forgiveness. The fourth one is the fellowship. Let us see these four elements very, very in an intimate way, which may be able to help us to understand the dynamics what the Lord has done on the cross for us. The first word is says that to open their eyes in order to turn them from the darkness to light. And, and Paul is talking about his own personal experience. He was encountered by the risen Christ on his way to Damascus. And, and that was the, in the encounter of with Jesus Christ. And he became blind. And then when he opened his eyes, and he was able to see a new life in his life. And it is a kind of imaginary that we see. In the encounter with Jesus Christ, when the Lord Jesus called him Saul and Saul, it is a wonderful thing that we have in our lives that we have a God who is very personal. The creator God who knows your name very personally. He knows the condition of your life. He knows the purpose for which he has created you. You are not an ordinary person in your life. You are the carrier of God's purpose in his, in your life. The, the Lord who is in spirit. He works always through you and me. The Lord has installed His purpose in our lives. When we go away from God's purpose, it is a wonderful ministry of God by calling us by name. Drawing us into His wonderful circle. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 it says and it says that you have made me alive who are dead in trespasses and sin and I were dead to the trespasses and sin what is sin in our lives disobeying to God's expectation what is transgression crossing the boundary or missing the mark in our lives missing the purpose in our lives that's what the Bible talks about sin the Bible is not talking about an activist 
Bible is promoting the disciple of Jesus Christ. Now Paul says, now I can become alive in Jesus Christ. I was dead in sin and trespasses. Because I have committed my life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I allowed him to take control of my life. And I allowed him to rule my life. I got the new meaning for my life. And now I have become a useful vessel in the sight of God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is all the great things that the Lord has done in our lives. It is not the activity that you are doing, thinking that you are doing great things for God. That's what Paul was thinking about his life. He was thinking that he is doing great things for his own faith. But God had a different plan in his life. Before Gospels in the Bible, but the fifth Gospel is your life. And the Spirit of God asked me, Are you eligible to be the fifth gospel? Because you live for yourself. You are an activist in your church. No place for Jesus Christ. You grab all the glory of God for your personal purposes. Is there any place for Jesus Christ? As I was reading this five pies postcard in my study table. I was broken. I committed my life to Jesus Christ. That was the great things happened in my life. I asked the Lord, Lord, you should increase, I should decrease in my life. My, my dear young people, you may be very active in your church. Senior people, you may be giving good for the church. The church may recognize you what you are doing. But do you have fresh relationship with Jesus Christ? This afternoon the Lord is reminding you that you should have an encounter with the risen Jesus Christ. And secondly, Paul says, and from the power of certain to God. And he says that from the power of certain. What Satan can do in our lives. He does. He makes us to separate from the very presence of God. That's what he did in the Garden of Eden. And he always steals the presence of God and the very best in our lives. And he will try to settle us in the second best of our lives. And he will put us under bondage of something in our lives. And that time we will lose the may not have the freedom that we should be able to enjoy in our lives. Sometimes he can bring sickness. Sometimes he can put us into some sinful nature. Sometimes he can put you into the addiction of something. Maybe to liquor. 
Maybe to the bad relationship. Maybe to the life is spending other money. Not faithful to what we are expected to do. Addiction to the pornography. We never allow others to see what is in our lives. We, we hide everything. Always there is a hidden life in our in our personal life. We try to live in a kind of a different world. Because the devil doesn't like us to be released from all those things. But the good news is Jesus came to release us from all the bondages. That is the greatest thing what the Lord has done us. He came to seek and save the sinners. One single. So that we can free from all the bondages. The gospel of Jesus Christ transformed the lives. This is not the message of Jesus Christ. The education brought people into the enlightenment. And when Jesus came on this earth, he moved with the compassion. He was sensitive to the needs of the people. The freedom in Jesus Christ, it brings the individual dignity for everyone. The gospel of Jesus Christ promotes the dignity of the humanity. One of the things we owe your brothers and sisters, when the Lord has restored a wonderful deliverance in our lives, or he liberated from some of the things which is really pulling you down in our life. Sometimes you are not able to surrender to the Lord. You are not able to confess some of the things to receive this freedom in Jesus Christ. You live with a guilty feeling. This, this afternoon, our Lord wanted to deliver you from those areas. The first one we saw the faith in Christ. Secondly, the freedom. And then he talks about the forgiveness. Forgiveness of the sin. When Jesus came on this earth, by demonstrating his love on the cross, and he has given us the freedom not only from the sin but also the forgiveness. He restored the relationship back. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 it says, The wall of separation was demolished when Jesus came. The enmity was taken out. The bitterness was taken out. The broken relationship was restored because Jesus forgave us. The need of the family is the forgiveness these days. The need of the church is the forgiveness. The need of a workplace is the forgiveness. Though we live in a democratic and united country, we have all diversities in our nation. Varieties of people. And sometimes we are divided in many ways. Why all these things are happening? 
we are not able to accept others ancha saksa sakun ko accept kare na mancha with our own background ancha andham jam mai to kabaga to dal bandhan ko sangmen ka we are not able to accept others na ki ancha sakka ban ko accept na mancha promote other people are we sakka ban ani slow ani ko ma das ja we are not able to allow we are not able to love other people are ancha ki sakka ban na ngade khasa na mancha sometimes we live with the self righteousness of our lives paso ki ancha andham na ko sa tholo mai ur ke khake to ur ke jangi thanga ya we make our own stand as our lives ancha andham ka jangi thanga andham ka sa mai na ma na mje ko do na we see people from that angle are one only sanse sakka ban ko nyata not able to accept others as the lord has given in our lives ah iso je ta ke sakka ban ko ata wa ka tanse nyata manja as a result we see a lot of brokenness are ya na ko chance ya sa sume anse ba a begaman obo sarang ko ka and these are the days many young couples they break their relationship ya sarang ko ba a nokdang rang jik se galgir kani rang jonga and many families are in the coach are on the ke ba a nokdang rang khasariyo saksak ko sak khasariyo saksak ko rang ya why all those things are happening why na ya na ko obo sarang ya good education is there dalo na ma ski rani ang khonse manjo good acceptance in the society anchin ko sungsaro ba na mainra acha kaha manja good position in the workplace anchini kham karam bya praho ba anchina ma na ma kham ko kadi na hands anchini jako chiwa ta thanga paisa ra why all those things are happening andi uba maini ko ya boss ra uya because we live with the selfishness mai na anchin ra alakshi da ke jangi thanga we are not able to see others as we are called to see sakubana ko je ra kyan sing niyat na nga je ra ki so nang ka war kyan sing niyat na manja the lord is calling us to have the culture of forgiveness in all the places adalo iso an sing ko plak bia prangon ya khema khani bewal ko ra ba china ga nya the spirit of forgiveness should start from our homes ya khema khani bewal ara ani nok dang ro ni ab china ngen and it should be seen in our churches aro ya ko ansini no mondoliyo ban kada nangen and it should be reflected in our workplaces aro khima kharam bia bongchina and this is maybe the one of the greatest thing the lord has done in our lives aro haide yan aji jagitano isoli dalaran ko dakani mongsa ongchung ken and the lord has given us the wonderful ministry of reconciliation to the body of christ ansina gatelara uni bimangona nangrimma tani khamko kachina na ha and fifth fourthly and finally a brief paro bongkham do pa and it says that in verse 26 fourth chapter 26 verse 18 या वता तो देखो तो पोच छे तो क्या बना एंड इनहेरिटेंस अमंग दोस हु आर सैंटिफाइड बाय माय फेथ इन मी या नो आगा ना और बेबी रा आगा छी रोंग थाला को मन पड़े किसे को मानर कानी को मन छी ना इट टॉक्स अबाउट द फेलोशिप यंग नाम रु मानी को आगा ना इट मीनिंग फॉर माय लाइफ आम नी जंग जन ओठो को मन हा आई सर्व गॉड विद अ पर्पस आंगा देखे मुक्सवानी करा रिया एंड बिकॉज़ आई बिकम अ चाइल्ड ऑफ गॉड आंगा आई सो नी देव हरी गमन आई वाज डेड टू द सिन आंगा फॉरनेस सी गमन एंड आई गॉट रिसरेक्टेड इन जीसस क्राइस्ट आंगा यीशु क्रिस्ट ओ चाका प्लाको मन हा नाउ दो आई डाई ऑन दिस यर्थ नाउ आंगा या गसा को सीना नंगे छु मो बा आई गॉट द मीनिंग फॉर माय इटर्नल लाइफ आंगनी मुखांग छी जंगी थानी ना आंगा ओठो को I am aware that where I am going to spend my eternity. Jeeva mani jin jot sangi thani ro bone gen. Because Jesus has given me the living hope. Maina Jesu amna thangpa khadungani ko na. I have the joy of eternal life. Anga jin jot ni sangi ko mana ni ko. I am free from all the bondages of my life. Anga plak ani jengyo kharang ni ajak de lunga. I enjoy the life in abundance. Anga swak pa sangi thani ko khacha. And I can consider any everybody aranga star plakon i can esteem other people more than my life ani jangi thana bate nam bata ni rana mana ha are you ready once again to make a recommitment in our lives nasimangi jangi thaneo chang sade onkhang thaina nasimang thariya ma god in your choices anangi basi ni soko mandira bo god a god in all your decision making nangi plak basi rani ramo isoko mandira bo the greatest thing what you can do for god is to keep god in the center of your lives nangi jangi isoko bijanchi dono de wa nangna dakna mana dakko because already he has done great things for your life awa anchana dalar ko dakma na ha in the trust to god he saw na gan sakani kata keep god in the center of your lives nam ni jangi tani so ko bisan sidho keep in center god in your life is god honoring god 
Anamni zang jo iso ko bizang si dona ya kani iso ko mandir ani ko ania. Mamun san si jang. You know who you are in our lives. Naan antang jang ni mai ko ko naan nuya. In your personal life. Naan ni antang jang i thaniyo. Family life. Doktang ko jang i thaniyo. In your society. Songsar jang i thaniyo. In your office. Office to jang i thaniyo. You are dealing with other people. Na mandir ko sa kamay. Your relationship with others. Na kapre ko sa nangre mian. You know who you are. Nara sawa ko naan nuya. Today the Lord wanted you to have a new beginning in your life. Dalo igigetel na ko getal abo chinti mo nang deka. God will be glorified in your brokenness. Nangi jangi thani begaman jangi thani wode na isona unde na unde isona. We worship a God who fathers a broken heart to people. Dalo na na ko isol ko baby na jian nang ko mandir ab begaman kathum nang ko. Honor God. Isol ko mandir abo. He has done great things. Wa dalo kham nang ko kaha. Shall we all? Be in the presence of, as you are in the presence of God. Anji solely makongyon. Shall we all close our eyes? I am saying anji ni makro nang kumukchip na. And head bowed down. The Lord spoke to us. Iso anji na ganha. If you say that Lord, I want to honor you. Na ganu de. Gadel aga na ko mandir anaska. I want to commit my life to accept you as the Lord and Savior. Anga angi zangi thana ko gadel aru chukat pane anaska. 